sure, you can always shop around for flooring, but in the end, it all leads back to the one place you probably should have started, the experts at Carpet One. Save yourself the time and the hassle and let Carpet One help you find the right product at the right price, beautifully installed, guaranteed. Come see the one, Carpet One, on the Business Loop in Columbia. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Friday, November the 4th. This is really an exciting and nerve-wracking time of the year. We're not too far away from Election Day. And uh, who better to have on today than the news director of KBIA Radio, Ryan Femuliner. Good to have you yeah, here, Ryan. Thanks for having me, Paul. That, that voice of yours. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting next to you one morning at, at, at the breakfast at KBIA, and all at once I heard this voice and I realized who it was. Very distinctive. Well, I say I was doomed for this profession because I really didn't have a choice uh, with this voice. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you, the reason you're here today uh, is to talk about a couple of things that KBIA is doing. And one thing is really outstanding uh, on the web. Mm -hmm. It's called what? It's called Access Missouri. Yeah. Um, so you can find it at accessmissouri.org or accessmo.org. We have both those domains for it. Um, so yeah, as you mentioned, like our the audience may be familiar with what we do uh, on the air, but online we put a lot of effort into our digital products. Mm -hmm. And this project we're talking about is um, a state government data project. So. And this really, this took a lot of work, a lot of research, but if you want to make a educated decision about who you want to vote for or need to vote for in Missouri, you really should go to this website. Now, we're, we're saying put emotions aside and look, go to the website, and you've got all the entire voting record yeah. of everybody in the state. The voting records, um, the campaign contribution records, um, election results. The campaign results, contribution records. Campaign contribution records. Because a lot records. of times, that's hard to find. This information is, it's provided to this, to. Missourians in a few different ways, but never in one place that's actually easy to use. So the voting records you mentioned are a good example that um, if you want to go find anywhere, else, like if you want to find the voting records for Caleb Brown in our in our our, our local legislator, um, you would have to go to you have to know what vote you're looking for, and you need to go to the Daily Journal, which is there's one of these recorded every day at the legislature, um, and you have to know you have to go scan through this huge PDF document to find the records of that vote to see how Caleb Brown voted uh, yes or no on a certain issue. Mm -hmm. um, so what we've done is um, gone through and created a scraper that takes all of that information off of those documents and puts it into our database and puts it in this one location where you can find all of that information so, in a comprehensive way. So then what you're saying is you can go to your your database on the KBIA website? Mm -hmm. It's actually a separate website called AccessMissouri. Access Missouri. Okay. Yep. This is what it looks like. I, now once you click on to that, if you want to go to a particular candidate what do you do? So you would just search the person's name. So you could search for Caleb Browden and uh, you'd be able to find a profile page for him. And if you clicked on uh, the page for him, you'd go to a page that shows um, his appointment history, uh, his contributions by type and by by actual person that has given him these mm -hmm. gifts. And then you can go down and find his voting records and you can search through these and find the important piece of information you may want, mm -hmm. whether you're interested in how he voted on a specific um, bill last session or who his major contributors are. Yeah, because you, can you can't really go by the television commercials that you see. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, <laughs> there, there's, there, there's a lot of liberty taken when you're watching these paid commercials on television. Absolutely. Well, it's funny because when we made this website, we thought, you know, this is actually who this is really going to help are those oppo research people that are putting out these same ads. But we figure it's worth it because this is important information we want to get to Missourians so that they can actually understand these issues better, understand their candidates better. And like you said, make an informed decision, which I hope, I assume I give Missourians enough credit that they actually do want to make an informed decision and understand the issues and understand the person they're voting for. Yes, I, I, um, I hope so, because this is a valuable, it really is a valuable valuable resource for all of us and it's free for you the listener to do some research uh, before the election and and really make an educated vote instead of just going by what you're seeing on television on the commercials he said she said <laughs> uh, this one did that this one did that mm -hmm. 
see what they actually yeah. do. And then the contributions, too, because a lot of times they don't want to see the yeah. contributions. Oh, and I mean, we're one of the, we're the only state in the country that has no limits for campaign contributions or lobbyist gifts. We're the only state in the country that has no only limits Missouri. on this. Only Missouri. And so this type of information, the way that money flows through our legislature is really important, no matter your political affiliation. The money plays a huge role in politics in general. And uh, in Missouri, in, in Missouri has one of the le is the least restrictive in, in what you can do with your money. So this at least, the idea here is this is in hopefully increasing accountability and transparency in state government in ways that um, there's no, nobody has taken the time, because it takes a lot of time, to put all of this data together in one place where you can actually make, you can actually connect the dots a little bit and right. try to figure out and what's I, going I on. I really honestly hope that people will take advantage of this. Mm -hmm. Because this is so important. And, you know, we've heard people say this over and over. Every, every election you have, this is the most important election of our <laughs> lifetime. But I really think this one this, is, is, if not the most important, one of the most important. It's a big year. It's a, it's a tumultuous time in our country. There are, it's a general election, so we have all of the, you know, most major seats are up across the country. Um, on federal and state levels, so there are a lot of important decisions being made at every level, and at least on the state level, this will give you some information that you can't find anywhere okay. else right now. Give them the web address again. AccessMissouri.org. AccessMissouri.org. Take a, a, an hour or so before you go to vote and take a look at the people that you are considering voting for and see what they actually did. Put all the television commercials aside <laughs> when you're on this website and, go find and take a look at what they go did. Go find the facts for yourself. They're there for you to find out and to understand and, yeah. and make a good decision. Okay. Now we've got about a minute uh, left here. One other thing we want to mention was My Life, My Town. Yeah, so this is one of those cool projects that you won't hear on the radio, but I'd love for uh, our audience to know about. Uh, My Life, My Town is a short documentary project, so it's actually like video and photos, a project that we collaborated with the Columbia Missourian on to document the lives of teens in rural areas, because we think that's a story that's not told very often, and particularly in Missouri, um, is a really valuable story, an insightful story that can tell us a lot of things about different issues in our communities and how specifically these rural towns are going to survive. As you see brain drain happening there, the best and brightest from some of these towns, once they graduate, leave town, they never come back to that town because there's mm -hmm. not jobs there. They're not those kinds of things. So all kinds of issues come up in these stories. We, um, you know, talked to a, a young uh, a young woman in uh, Macon a few years ago who was the only a uh, young woman in her high school who was out, an LGBTQ uh, uh, youth. Um, another story that we've told is a young woman who um, dealt with, her parents have been dealing with uh, meth addiction and mm -hmm. have been in and out of jail and the impact that's had on her life. And she raised her... Didn't she raise her sister? She, she's ended up having to raise her seven-year-old sister yeah. as she tries to attend college. So it's one of these important stories that help, you know, connects the dots on a lot of these important issues, and you tell it through a person's a person's experience, and it's really powerful. Ryan, thank you so much Thanks for coming by uh, as news director of KBIA Radio. Give them that website one more time to go to. AccessMissouri.org. Okay, AccessMissouri.org. Check it out. At least before you go to vote, there's a lot of important information there, and it's all free of charge. See you next time.